Um, anyway, this is Nidia, who, as I said before, is brought the Chilean groups together, and she's going to speak about what they're going to do. But first, I think you're going to do something to commemorate the election of Allende uh, 50 years ago. Correct. Okay, all right. And I'll be back for some closing remarks. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I've never emceed before, but uh, there's great energy in this room, so I'm looking forward to it. I hope you're enjoying yourself so far this evening. Yeah. So first, it's a great honor for me to be here, um, following Sue and all of the women feminists who've been here. Um, I think you know one of the things we've been talking about in terms of the um, cultural committee is uh, how we can, in fact, not just have one-off events, but in fact have a kind of process of a continuation of a dialogue. So I, I think there's a tremendous amount that the uh, younger generation of women and men in struggle uh, in Canada and globally, we have a lot to learn from the experiences of the people who've, who've been here uh, before me uh, on the stage. Um, so let me just say something about myself, and then I will speak a few minutes about Chile, which is what we're going to be now turning to for the rest of the evening. <laughs> so, so my name is Nitya Nagarajan. I'm a recent member of the Cultural Committee of the Socialist Project. Uh, I'm a student at York University, and uh, my activist work has been with uh, Palestinian working class struggles. Uh, so I've recently moved to Canada, actually. Um, so I'll say a few words. This is the most I'll speak uh, tonight, and then I'll just be, you know, facilitating people. But I did want to say a few words about Chile uh, and the significance of what's happening in 2020 and significance of art and culture uh, in Chile. So 2020 is the 50th anniversary of the elections of the first democratically elected socialist government of Salvador Allende in Chile. Whoa. 1970 marked the year when the developments in Chile gave hopes to the international left for new pathways to socialism. In the second part, which is now, we want to pay tribute to Allende's legacy, to his hopes of constructing a new form of socialism based on mass popular movements and a wide democratic basis for social renewal transformation. The brutal US-backed coup which martyred Salvador Allende on September 11th, 1973, and paved the way for the Chicago boys' neoliberal experiments under the military dictatorship of Augusto Pinochet is the context in which we can understand the most recent mass revolts in Chile that started in October 2019 and continue till today. Slogans chanted in the streets, it is not 30 pesos, it is 30 years. And neoliberalism was born in Chile, it will die in Chile symbolize the depth of the revolt. It is not only mass protests against the privatization and commodification of uh, all basic needs of life, uh, against the extractivism, including of Canadian mining, uh, that constitutes the basis of the ongoing colonization and dispossession experienced by the Mapuche and other indigenous groups but it is also a revolt against the very basis of a militarized political regime and its so-called democracy. The popular slogan, Chile Desperto, Chile Awoke, finds its potent expressions in the tremendous cultural and artistic forms of resistance that have been born and that have sustained the spirit of the mass mobilizations. We find a weaving of the old and the new, this cultural production is nothing short of being a knowledge system, knowledge forms that emanate from those who have lived and died under the histories of the barbarism of capitalism, colonialism, imperialism, and their multitude racialized and gendered forms. But this art, music, and poetry also points us towards new conceptions of how we can organize our social world, of our relations with one another, with the land, earth, 
of our very conceptions of being because these knowledge forms are born in and from struggles of the oppressed, from our very terrestrial and historical attempts to construct alternatives to a system that has brought our very possibility of survival under existential threat. Marta Harnecker, Chilean feminist and educator, who participated in the many progressive movements in Latin America, says that the task of building 21st century socialism is simultaneously a task to construct a new popular hegemony, that is, conscientization of alternatives to life under capitalism, and instead point to conceptions of life in its plenitude. So it is in this spirit that we are going to proceed with the second half of the evening. And we will invite two groups, one Chilean artist, Ernesto Espinosa, Pablo Gutierrez, and Oriana Barbato to share songs of the historical Chilean resistance, music which today is sung in the thousands in the streets in Chile. We will then invite Apeamos Chile, a group of, in Toronto of Chilean exiles and youth activists who have been organizing and mobilizing international solidarity um, in, in Toronto. We will be hearing from several of their, of their activists to share their reflections on the significance of the struggles in Chile today, the link between Chile and the global revolts, uh, as well as to talk about the conditions of the political prisoners in Chile today. Um, we will then show you a video, which I'll explain when we get to it, and we'll then take part in an enactment of a protest song, Un Violador en Tu Camino, a rapist in your path, composed by the Chilean feminist collective Las Tesis which has found global resonance. Uh, the flyers with the lyrics were passed on to you, so we highly encourage you to join us when we, when we do the um, enactment. So with this introduction, I would like to invite um, uh, Ernesto Espinosa, Pablo Gutierrez, and Oriana Barbato to the stage. <laughs> As they set up, I'll just say a few words. Ernesto, Pablo, and Oriana have been active members of the Toronto music scene for the past 20 years. They stay true to their roots and social convictions by collaborating with many artists. Their talent and camaraderie uh, is taking them to musical adventures to Havana, Cuba this coming June.
Thank you, Lydia, for the introduction. Ah, uh, we have no feminist songs to sing. <laughs> no, we do. <laughs> we have... <laughs> Here. Here. Uh, like uh, Lydia said, uh, we're going to do songs to uh, commemorate the uprising that is going on right now in Chile and uh, human rights in general. Human rights in general because uh, uh, not only in Latin America but in third world countries uh, human rights have been violated. In Canada! In Canada, there you go. Right here. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. The struggle is there. The struggle is there, and we are uh, here. We're very, we're very proud to be here, and we're very proud to be invited. And uh, we're going to do a song now that was dedicated to Che Guevara. I don't know if you guys know this guy. <laughs> They told me a minute ago he was homophobic and I'm like, Well, there were different times. But uh, the revolution in Cuba, which he support, which he uh, was a big part of, uh, there was discrimination at the beginning, but a revolution is circumstantial and an evolution, evolution is necessary. So Cuba nowadays is an example, I think, of evolution. And of uh, the struggle of human rights. So, this is a song dedicated to Ernesto Che Guevara.
about uh, what we wanted in Chile. <laughs> now, vivo en un país libre. I live in a free country. So for all of you, vivo en un... la pequeña serenata diurna.
poco Pero mis cantos que poco a poco Vuelo en agua habitando el tiempo Como le cuadra un hombre despierto Soy feliz, soy un hombre Feliz y quiero que me perdone Por este día los muertos Soy un hombre feliz y quiero que me perdonen por este día los muertos de mi felicidad. Gracias. Thank you. I will introduce to a brigade. We've uh, come up with a brigade ever since the uprising on... Oh, somebody's happy. <laughs> ever since the uprising, uh, we've... Uh, we did... Uh, we're doing... Uh, created this brigade, which is called the Brigade 18th Brigada 18 de Octubre. And we're going to Cuba, taking this brigade in June, which is... I want to introduce to you on base, Oriana Barbato. Paulo Gutierrez on the car. There is a missing member who is in Chile right now. Jose Sangüesa, who is also going to be part of this brigade, who is part of it. So this brigade was, uh, was uh, uh, done with the motive of uh, the uprising in Chile, and we're going to take and share this in Cuba in June. So we wanted to do a song by Violeta Parra. You guys heard of Violeta Parra? Yes. Violeta Parra. Oof. Violeta was the master. A true fighter for human rights. As a woman, hats off to her. An example for uh, for not only Chile but uh, the rest of the world. And this song is called Paloma Ausente. <laughs> 